सी ट्वेल्थ एंड वी आर अ ग्रुप ऑफ फोर स्टूडेंट्स देव मानिक साहब आई डी इलेवन दिव्य साहब साहब आई डी फिफ्टीन एंड हर्ष भानी साहब आई डी सेवेंटीन एंड वी टूगेदर हैव कलेक्टिवली वर्क ऑन अ प्रॉब्लम एंड फाइंड आउट अ सोल्यूशन यूजिंग एन ऐप which was built through a mighty app inventor our purpose is to design an app which can remotely control the light uh, so basically this can this can apply to a home or some kind of industry so basically through our app we can turn on the light or turn off the light or also we can set three different stages for the brightness of that particular light so over here you can see on the ui we have five buttons for on off and for uh three different level so for a uh, level of 50 the brightness will be very low for 150 it will be a uh, medium brightness and uh, 200 will be uh, even more brighter now coming to the code so uh, this is basically the code so here when the uh, when any button is pressed a uh, 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 get url request is created and it is sent to the server so this mechanism is uh, so this this mechanism basically uh, is valid for each and every block that we created the algorithm so first we will uh, in, import the esp8266 wifi library and we will enter the ssid and the password which is declared which will help us to connect to the wifi and then the led is controlled by the gpio port 13 and uh, we are using the node mcu mode which is connected to the wifi and the ip address is displayed so uh, below here we have our code uh, where we include the uh, wifi library of esp8266 yeah and this is the led pin pin 13 uh, and this is the ssid john snow and this is the password here so the baud rate we have used is 115200 and uh, this is the the led pin uh, of the output the led pin will uh, we write it as low and then uh, these are the statements which we print and which will then display us that the wifi is connected and the server is also started so then we can relay the information to the uh, node mcu next thing that we do is once the client is available if the client is available we continue if not we wait for a while until the client connects to our server once the uh, client connects to the server we wait till the client sends us a request a string request which was mentioned by harsh earlier once that request is sent we what we do is we pass the uh, we pass the particular request and after passing the request depending upon what kind of request it is we either set the led on or off or if the pwm signal is given we set the uh, led pin to the that particular uh, value so once that particular uh, uh, request is sent to the server that request is passed and if the pass request is then uh, sent to our analog using another write function to our led We have also created a local uh, web server which can be seen over here. This web server can also be used to turn on or turn off the LED. Next thing we see over here is the output. This is the output for LED on. This is the output when the LED is turned off. This is the 50 pwm. This is the 150 pwm. And finally, this is the 200 pwm. So uh, we have not only used MIT App Inventor, but also made use of uh, a node MCU to make home automation possible. This can be also used as a as a output to servo or any other PWM output that is required. Thank you.